Hello everyone and welcome to lesson 36. Today's lesson is going to be about generic queues. It builds a lot on the previous lesson, so if you're not familiar with any of this code is, please go back and review lesson 35. So, uh, as a kind of a pseudo review or real quick cursory review, um, we remember we created a list. We just, uh, a generic list, we put in the type, which of type ticket was the class that we created before. And we created a new list of ticket and we did the same thing for an integer. And to add the ticket, we just simply did the, or used the add method. And you remember, the reason why we have lists are, I mean, they're just like um, arrays, except that arrays uh, have to be defined before runtime. And if we don't know how many objects are going to be in an array, that could cause a big problem, right? So a list will allow us to dynamically add uh, to an array uh, at runtime. So let's go down to the queue, and before we really just talk about the, you know, how to code it, essentially a queue is just like a line or uh, at the movie theater. So, you know, the first person who gets their ticket gets to go in the movie theater. It's first in, first out. Um, so the example that I present here, uh, we do a lot of help desk, uh, you know, server troubleshooting, SharePoint, obviously, uh, troubleshooting. So whenever a ticket comes in, we assign it to the queue. If it's a desktop problem, the desktop expert takes care of it. If it's a server problem, the server expert takes care of it. SharePoint, set, SharePoint expert, you get the idea. So in this example, uh, we pretend like we have uh, server problems. Uh, we add three tickets to the server queue, right? Uh, so, and then we go ahead and write it out. Now, you'll see here, we say, okay, how many tickets are remaining in the queue? We just simply use the count method. So we put three on, so three should be in the, in the queue, right? And then we take the first one off, and then we should have two. Now, if you're really paying attention, and uh, you know, it is kind of basic if you think about it, once we dequeue this and we write this out, we're gonna have two remaining in the queue, right? And then which, which tickets are we going to uh, have left? So if you think about it, 0, 1, 2 are the IDs for, for up here. 3, 4, 5 are the IDs of the tickets in the server queue, or otherwise known as the ticket queue in this, in this you know, this idea, but we're, or this program, but we're really just saying they're server problems. So if we DQ1, the first one that we put on, which was number 3, should be gone, right? So whenever we do this for each loop, we're going to see uh, ticket IDs 4 and 5 left. So let's see if that's the case. We'll go ahead and run this, and we'll see the first tickets that are in the list, 0, 1, 2, and then here's what we've just been working on in the queue, 3, 4, 5. We have three tickets remaining in the queue, which is this here. Then we dequeue, we print out two tickets remaining in the queue, and then as we talked about, uh, the for each shows that we have four and five left in the queue, and the first one that was put in, uh, three, it was actually, um, you know, it's actually gone now. So that's queues in a nutshell. Again, it's just a, um, essentially a list or a first, first in, first out um, line. I don't want to say list because that kind of gets confusing. So anyways, speaking of confusing, if you have any questions uh, or any comments, if you think we did a good job, please go to www.nextstar.tv and uh, ask on the forums if you have any questions or feel free to post uh, you know any suggestions or changes that you like you, that you might want to see so anyways until tomorrow thanks for joining us and uh, we'll see you later